वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स हेयर वी आर स्टार्टिंग अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग चैप्टर ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट एस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज मैथमेटिकल इंडक्शन सपोज एनी मैथमेटिकल स्टेटमेंट इज गिवन सपोज मैथमेटिकल स्टेटमेंट इज गिवन टू इन टू एन इज डिविजिबल बाई टू और टू इन टू एन is an even number so this mathematical statement has to be generalized by any particular form to general form by using mathematical induction and for generalizing a particular mathematical statement to general mathematical statement we use a principle which is known as principle of mathematical induction this is known as principle of mathematical induction so first of all let us understand what is principle of mathematical induction and how we can use it how we can apply it to solve a given problem okay so let us first of all see what is principle of mathematical induction here we will be using a notation pn like this and this notation pn stands for mathematical statement mathematical statement is denoted by pn okay this is a general notation for all mathematical statements so let us see what is principle of mathematical induction there are two points in this statement of principle of mathematical induction first let p1 be true first let p1 be true and second pr plus 1 is true for pr is true whenever P R is true, it means P R plus one is true, or in other words, you can say that P R is true implies that P R plus one is true. We'll make it more clear with the help of a suitable example here. Then, here we conclude that then the mathematical statement. pn is true for all n means mathematical statement pn has been generalized here any particular uh, case has been generalized for all n okay so only two clauses are there two points important points are here first of all p1 be true means given statement pn must be true for n is equal to 1 so you can here write that uh pn is true for n is equal to 1 p1 is true means statement pn is true for n is equal to 1 and pr plus 1 is true for pr is true or pr is true implies pr plus 1 is true it means that pn is true for n is equal to r implies that pn is true for n is equal to r plus 1 then by this principle of mathematical induction we will come to the conclusion that the given statement pn is true for all n for all natural numbers so let us establish this principle of mathematical induction or understand it 
with the help of a simple example. Okay. So, here let us see this example. A statement P n is here 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus up to first n natural numbers. This is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2. This is the given statement and we have to prove it. We have to establish it. We have to generalize it. Okay? So, how we will approach? First of all, we will take this step. We will show that P1 is true. Means, when we will put n is equal to 1, LHS should be equal to RHS. When by putting n is equal to 1, LHS and RHS are equal, it means P1 is true. Okay? So, first step, here we have to prove that, here we have to prove that P1 is true. So, here LHS is how much? Here P n, in this case P n, sum of n natural numbers. So, if you put n is equal to 1, means when we put n is equal to 1, then we have to take only one natural number, means only one. And RHS is how much? Putting n is equal to 1 here also. So, this is 1 into 1 plus 1 divided by 2. This is 1 into 2 divided by 2. This is equal to 1. So, we find here that LHS is equal to RHS that is P 1 is true. So, here our first step has been done, this is over. First step, in first step we have to show that P 1 is true, A statement P n is true for n is equal to 1. And what will be the second step? In the second step, we will assume that P r is true and we will show that P r plus 1 is true means we have to assume that the statement P n is true for n is equal to r and we have to prove, we have to show that this statement P n is true when we will put n is equal to r plus 1. So, second step, let P r be true. P r be true means when we put n is equal to r, then LHS will be equal to RHS. So, that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus r is equal to r into r plus 1. You write here relation number 1, p n given the statement is relation number 1 and you write here relation number 2. So, here we have assumed, we have supposed that p r is true, means a statement p n is true for n is equal to r. We will get it by putting n is equal to r in the given statement in relation number 1. Okay? So, now here we have to prove that, here we have to prove that a statement p n is true for n is equal to r plus 1. Okay? So, here by relation 1, LHS will be how much? We have to put n is equal to r plus 1 here. So, LHS is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus like this up to r plus 1 and the term previous to r plus 1 is r, correct? This is left hand side and we can put 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus r here from relation number 2 which is equal to r into r plus 1 by 2. So, this is equal to r into r plus 1 by 2 and this is r plus 1. Here this we are writing by relation number 2. You see relation number 2. Here the value 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to r is r into r plus 1 by 2. So, in place of this much 1 plus 2 plus up to r, we are putting this value r into r plus 1 by 2 and here last term is r plus 1. And now we have to simplify it and we will come to the right hand side and we will find that right hand side is 
true for n is equal to r plus 1. So, this is equal to taking r plus 1 common from here, r plus 1 common. So, here r plus r plus 1 is common. So, here 1 or LCM will be 2 here. So, 1 into 2 is 2. Denominator is 2. This can also be written as r plus 1 into r plus 1 plus 1 because r plus 2 is there. This is equal to 2. Now, you compare the right hand side of relation number 1 with this one. In place of n, we are getting here r plus 1. Here n, so r plus 1. Here n plus 1, so r plus 1 plus 1 by 2. Okay. So, this RHS is matching with the right hand side of this given statement. Okay. So, so, what does it show? It shows that this given statement is true for R is equal to R plus 1. Therefore, here statement P n because LHS we have started from LHS and we have come to RHS as per relation number 1. In place of n, we are writing r plus 1 and it is established here. So, therefore, p n is true for n is equal to r plus 1 also. So, by the principle of mathematical induction, we are getting the result. Therefore, therefore by principle of mathematical induction p n is true for all n. So, it has been proved here. The given statement has been generalized. We have established this given statement. So, this is the way to establishing or proving any given statement for all n. So, this statement is true for all n. Okay? very simple. So, we will do some more problems from this topic. You will be more clear about it and will have a confidence about this topic after doing some more problems. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Wish you all the best.